Welcome to Happy Hour. I'm Crystal and thanks for hanging out with me. So today I have this giant random skincare haul for you guys. I'm also drinking American honey. Um, as you can see this was the last pour. So I, um, I'm gonna have to get more. So if anybody has any suggestions on something that I could drink, uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's get started. So I have a few different things. Some I got just off Amazon and some from other places. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is this sheet mask that I got uh, just at Target actually. And I've been kind of into sheet masks lately. I try to mask a couple, you know, a few times a week. I'm from Utah and Everything here is like, it's really dry, like really dry. I'm trying to like keep myself hydrated, keep my skin in good condition, and sometimes it's just not enough to use a random moisturizer or whatever. So that's where the sheet masks come in. Um, this one is a rejuvenating Dead Sea Mineral um, mask. It's from Cubella Professional. Like I said, I got it at Target. And it looked like they had a bunch of other sheet masks, but they were sold out of almost everything. So I got like one of the last ones. And I think I've tried some just regular, like you just put it on and wash it off later masks from this brand. And I didn't totally love that, mostly because it just didn't, I don't know, it didn't feel like it did anything for my skin. So in getting this, I'm hoping that it does something and that it's actually really good. Detoxify your skin and tones with the addition of natural seaweed extract. Um, the ultimate goal is to soothe and moisturize. So I'm probably gonna try this one like really soon, maybe even tonight. Um, the next thing that I wanna talk about is this philosophy moisturizer that I just got. This moisturizer is the Take a Deep Breath SPF 30 and I have tried moisturizers from Philosophy before. I loved them for a really long time, but then as I've gotten older, my skin has changed, so it doesn't always feel really um, the same way. You know, it did, my skin's gotten more sensitive, and so some of their, the other lines, which I loved when I was in my 20s, were not, you know, they just weren't doing it for me anymore. So, in addition to that, I really wanted to add more SPF into what I'm doing with my skincare regimen because I have really fair skin and I get sunburned really easily. So I thought, meh, up the SPF, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it works out. So I'm excited to try this. I got this one from uh, birchbox.com. I, at the end of the year, they had this like big sale thing going on. So I got this because I had percentage off and then I also had like $10 worth of points that I could use. So I wanted to get that. Um, also from Birchbox, I got this Super Goop hand cream, which also has, as you can see, it's got, ooh, right there, it's got SPF 40 in it, which is awesome because, um, you know, you go walking around, I'm, I work downtown, so I walk to lunch and it's all, the, you know, there's the sun or UV rays or whatever. So I wanted something with extra SPF that I could put on right before I go to lunch or leave the office or whatever. Um, the unfortunate thing is that this, as you can see, there's no top on it because the top broke off in shipment. And I did not get this in the same shipment as I got the Philosophy Moisturizer. So I don't know what happened. Um, this one I actually got just a couple weeks ago and then the Philosophy Moisturizer I just got this week. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to see if maybe I can find another pump that will just work with this and I can use it because I really want to and I don't want to send it back um, mostly because I'm lazy. So we'll see what happens and if anyone has any suggestions for making this thing here and this thing here attached to each other, that'd be awesome. But I don't know how to do it. Anyway, enough of that. So the last thing I wanted to talk about are some other sheet masks that I just got off Amazon. 
These sheet masks are, I can't, you know, I've never seen them in a store, at least not where I live. They might be somewhere in another state, who knows. But here, I haven't seen them. So these sheet masks are from a brand called Innisfree, and it's a Korean brand, and these are um, various sheet masks. So this one, as you can see, is just the Shea Butter, and I got a set of, I think, like 16 or something like that. They all, um, I kind of broke them out into different categories because there's some that are really for deep hydration, some that are for brightening, and then some that are just for like a general skin problem that you want to clear up slash moisture. Um, one of the problems is, is that they don't say like what the general skin problem is. Um, like this one here, this is a Bija, Bija? I don't know what, I don't know what that fruit is. I assume that's a fruit. It might be a, I don't know, an herb of some sort. We'll see. Um, so this one says it's a real source mask to treat skin problem while keeping the skin moisturized clean. Um, so these are all the back of them. As you can see, everything is written in, I assume, Korean. And I don't read Korean. So I don't know what it actually says. Um, I actually work with a guy who's from South Korea, so maybe I should ask him to translate for me. Just kidding, I wouldn't really do that. I, like I said, have kind of broken these out into three categories. I'm um, just gonna go through them quickly. And this first one I'm gonna do is the general, like the moisture one. So, as we talked about, the Shea Butter one. Um, we all know that Shea is like really good for moisture in a general sense, so I'm excited to try that. This next one is Manuka Honey, and this is also to moisturize dry, stiffened skin. Um, the next one is Green Tea. So this one says it is made with fresh moisture squeezed from green tea that moisturizes the skin too deep inside. I actually really love the translations from, in this case, Korean to English because it's really cute. I love it. Moisturize the skin to deep inside. I don't know exactly what that means, but it sounds great. So I'm sure it's gonna be really good for my skin. And let's see, the next one here is the bamboo one. Um, this is again, good bamboo extract to quench the thirst of the skin and keep it moisturized. Um, next is the cucumber one. And it's again, plentiful moisture to dry skin. And I mean, cucumber is in all kinds of things. We all know it has really good benefits for your skin anyway. And then the final one in like the super moisturizing category is the aloe vera one, or just aloe, um, but it's the aloe vera plant. And it is to fully moisturize and soothe the skin. So those all sound really great. I'm excited to try those out. Um, it's been really dry here, especially, you know, the heat's running all the time. And so I feel like it's just not, you know, it's not good for your skin. It's gonna make me have more premature wrinkles than I already do. And I'm not excited about that. Um, so hopefully that makes a difference. If so, like I said, they I got them on Amazon. I will put links below to everything. So if you guys wanna find it and try it out, then go for it. And I'll also check back in and say what I thought of these masks and everything um, as we go. So the next section of these Innisfree masks are the um, the brightening ones. And I only have, there are only like three of these. Um, I didn't honestly do as much research, research as I could have on how to categorize them. I just mostly based it off of what it said on the back of the package, honestly. So, um, maybe some of these are not for brightening. I don't know. They're obviously also for moisture because that's kind of the thing with sheet masks. So this one, this first one is the rose mask. And the description on this one is real source mask with fragrant moisture squeezed from rose that makes the skin smooth and glow. So smooth and glow. Sounds good. Next is acai berry. I think that's how you say that. And this one is again, this, these acai berries are full of nourishment to keep the skin brighter and clearer. 
literally that's what it said clearer so I'm not like making stuff up and then the last one in the brightening category is the strawberry one so this one says that the moisture squeeze from strawberries for skin that's smooth and bright awesome also I just want to say like I love the packaging on these I think it's super cute like again here's the rose one I mean it's just pretty let's be honest it's pretty and that's honestly part of what drew me to it when I was looking at them on Amazon I was trying because they have a whole bunch of different sheet masks on Amazon and figuring out the right one to use or buy or whatever like you've got to read the reviews and sometimes they're hit and miss and whatever so you know I'm a sucker for cute packaging but aren't we all so next is the just the skin problem slash moisture keep your skin clear category um, this first one is the Bia, like I said, I don't know how to say that word. It looks cute, it looks like a berry. And I apologize for any whining that you hear in the background. My beagle, she thinks she needs to go out and that she's starving also. She's really starving, even though she ate not very long ago. Um, anyway, she doesn't need to go out. So, next is the lime. And the lime one is just for skin that's bright and clear. Again, just, I mean, I guess I could have put that one in the brightening category, honestly. Uh, next, we have tea tree. And this is another one that says to treat skin problem while keeping the skin moisturized, clean. It's moisturized, comma, clean. So, both of those things, yeah. Uh, the next one, then, is kiwi. This one is refreshing moisture squeezed from kiwis for skin that's smooth and clear. So that's awesome because, you know, this time of year, uh, because of all the dryness, like, my skin gets flaky and itchy and then there's extra dead skin on there and that turns into acne, which no one likes. So keeping things clear sounds great. This one is blackberry. Look at those cute little blackberries on there. Like, seriously? Those are adorable. Honestly, if blackberries always look that good in person, I would probably eat them more often. Uh, so, blackberry. It's squeezed from blackberries that are full of nourishment to keep the skin healthy. Sounds perfect. Because we all know, you cross that line in from 20 to 30, 29 to 30, which I have done. And you just, I mean... You gotta give your skin whatever help you can get because I feel like I'm building the foundation for what my skin is gonna be like I, the rest of my life, at least into my 40s, and I want things to be nice. Um, okay, so the final mask is pomegranate, which again, it looks so cute. I just wanna, like, I wanna eat that right off the package. Um, so this is moisture from squeezed pomegranate for skin that's firm and supple. So, that sounds good too. You know, who doesn't want soft skin? Um, so that is it for this random skincare haul. And if you guys have any favorite sheet masks that you like to get that maybe I could get online or I could get in, I don't know, a Target or an Ulta or something like that, let me know. Um, and if you wanna try out any of these, then go for it and let me know what you think about that too. So. Thanks again for joining me for this happy hour, and I hope you guys have a great one.